Hi guys, Legend of Old 101 here once again. I'm so glad Star Wars is over for now. This franchise, this, uh, these episodes are flipping done. It seems to be erased from my memories immediately because I've never seen such a character like Rey so overpowered in a franchise since Steven Seagal's movie, Joe. Since his movies. She's basically the female Steven Seagal, bro. It was flipping crazy. She took zero damage. She, she doesn't sacrifice anything. She doesn't know what sacrifice is. Besides, she, she doesn't lose a hand. She hasn't even got a scar, for goodness sake. What the heck is she um, giving up in these movies? In this franchise? She's powerful for no reason. She gets a flipping 20-minute training montage. And all of a sudden, she's flipping on God mode. The entire, like, three movies. It's like, what? I'm a J.J. Abrams fan, but he took an L in this last movie. Oh, my gosh. I know Ryan Johnson messed him up, but he, he went too far in this last movie. Oh, my goodness gracious me, yo. This franchise needs a long break. This franchise needs a long break. And was, she's a Skywalker, apparently. She named herself a Skywalker. She's a damn Palpatine, bro. She's a Palpatine. So technically the Palpatines won. They beat the Skywalkers. That's basically what we've been taught in these movies now. Palpatine always wins, yo. He won, bro. Palpatine. The Palpatine line continues. She's going to be a villain. I see, I see. If they do continue continue these episodes, yeah, she's going to be the villain in the future, bro. Mark my word, she's going to, she, she's going to be the villain. Someone's going to try and take her out. Because I think there is a secret Skywalker out there somewhere. I, f I feel that. I feel it. And if they do continue this in this line instead of because to be honest, they need to reboot that to reboot this, this series, this these three movies, because these three movies oh, they do not go together whatsoever. Ryan Johnson versus JJ Abrams, yo. That's Jody in the cold. Anyone seen Jody's corner? And they've just released a new video. Spoiler review, Jody and the Code. They basically Jody basically goes, it's Ryan Johnson versus JJ Rams, which it is. I even said that before they even released that in a video where Jody even said anything because I was like, yeah. As soon as Ryan Johnson finished that movie, JJ Rams was gonna be like, uh yeah, oh uh, okay, and uh yeah, but it never happened. <laughs> Just got wreck on real quick. You know what I'm saying? So JJ vs. Ryan Johnson for as soon as that last show that hit, it was a rap for, for Ryan Johnson, bro. JJ was like, nah. Didn't happen, bro. Didn't, didn't happen, bro. Didn't happen. Sorry, mate. We tried. We failed. Uh, but this one's... I don't know, man. I don't know. This... Whew, this trilogy was doomed as soon as... Um, JJ Rose didn't come for a second. This, this, this franchise was doomed. Um, whenever you get a director to intercept in a trilogy, you, you change the director up in the middle of a trilogy, you know it's, you know it's over. It's done. Look what happened with Deadpool. Deadpool 2 was trash. Uh, as soon as they change the director, <gasps> garbage. So, it just happens. It just happens like that. Once you switch up a director in a trilogy, it doesn't end well. It never ends well. So, it just goes to show you. Never switch up a director in the middle of a trilogy if you're trying to sort out a trilogy for your franchise. Never ends well. Uh, case in point. Um, <sighs> characters are just weird. Kylo Ren was just look confused the entire movie. You don't know what the hell he was doing. Ray was just being Ray, being being savage for like no reason. Uh, force powers galore. So unlimited. Uh, she, you know what? <sighs> she is the female Palpatine, bro. I've realized now she is the female Palpatine. The entire movie, she was like unlimited power without actually saying it. She was basically boasting her abilities the entire movie. She was just, just, just bossing that piece of abilities are coming over, force pushing, flipping ships. Jedi mind tricking, flipping, summoning swords and that. What the heck are you doing? What are you doing? She doesn't take any damage in her movies. What is. I've never seen such a main character in a franchise be so OP as heck. This is a franchise, yo. This isn't any one off movie that Steven Seagal's doing. It's a franchise. She has to sacrifice something. She has to show 
and especially these kind of movies, she has to show growth. She has to show vulnerability. She has to be um, charismatic. You know what I'm saying? She she has to show something. You know what I'm saying? She has to show something that we can get behind, okay? A shred of weakness, even just, even just minimal. Minimal, at least. Come give us something. She has no weaknesses. That's her problem. She has zero, zero. Just remember, like, Jumanji. Literally, I just saw Jumanji today. I need to read that. Um, the Rocks Jumanji, the new one. Welcome to the Jungle. Um, obviously, not as good as the original. Robert Williams, OP. Um, but... Look at the jungle. Oh, decent movie. Decent. Um, so it was alright. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Oh, I shouldn't, but I did. Um, but yeah, just just like the rocks stats it was like zero weaknesses. That's that was Ray. Just perfect for the sake of being perfect. It was like a computer. She was like a walk she's a walking computer game. That's what she is. She's a walking computer game. It's insane. It's it's insane. And pal don't even get me started on Palpatine. So what I got? So basically, I'm just gonna sum it up right now. So, uh, uh, Sidious one, um, the Palpatines beat the Skywalkers. Ray isn't the Skywalker; she's a Palpatine. And I'm gonna keep saying that. If anyone says anything Skywalker, no, she isn't. She's a Palpatine, bro. Palpatine one. She's gonna be a villain in the future. She's gonna be the prophesied villain in the future, bro. That's, that's gonna be her, bro. That's gonna be her. She's gonna be a villain, and a Skywalker, a real Skywalker is out there somewhere. They're out there somewhere. Chilling. I don't know who the heck you gonna have a kid, Skywalker kid. There's a Skywalker out there. The Skywalkers ain't dead, man. The Skywalkers ain't dead. That's my theory. A Skywalker's lineage is not dead. There's a Skywalker out there. And just like they flipping hid Ray and Ray was a secret. Yeah, there's a secret Skywalker out there, bro. If there's a secret Palpatine, there's a secret Skywalker. This this light this uh, this blood feud is never gonna end. That's what I got from this. That's what I got from this. This blood feud is never gonna end. Cause technically they showed the Palpatine one, bro. Palpatine won, in uh, in a, one way or another, he won. Palp- Ray is still alive, bruh. She's gonna she's gonna sink into the darkness. All this power is gonna consume her, yo. Anyone seen Doctor Sleep knows what I'm talking about. Like um, one of the villains that Ab- there's a character called, called Abra in Doctor Sleep. I'm not gonna spoil it, but she's so OP as well. She's kind of OP as well. Um, but. The way they do a character is done right. If Ray was done like her in, in Doctor Sleep, like her, just like a prodigy, in you know, a type of prodigy, like a raw power, that's fine. But the stuff that she was doing in that movie, I was like, what? But the thing is, she's been doing that. The thing about Abra in that movie, she's been doing it all her life since she was a little kid. That's different. With this movie, with, with Ray, she hasn't been doing it at all. Literally, she's been pulled out of her backside. All of a sudden, she started doing it when she was an adult. What? Like, is, what? She's an adult now. Okay, all of a sudden, I can use the force. What? Stupid. Luke. Oh my gosh, Luke Skywalker. Finn. Trash. This is Leia. Oh my gosh. A Jedi. Okay, just, I'm just want to talk about anything. I just want to do a quick review on um just the franchise in general because the whole problem is, 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 is there's plot holes everywhere there's character flaws everywhere what is going on Ray is the only perfect thing in this franchise she's too perfect for the for, for her own good and for the rest of the film's good she she was beating Kylo Ren every, every time they fought each other Kylo Ren lost it was, it's, it's ridiculous so it's just ridiculous every five minutes it's like she gets the upper where is his power? This guy's supposed to be a, a, a master, or is he not? He's supposed to be a, 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 a Sith Lord, is he not? Where is this guy's underhanded tactics? This guy wasn't, this wasn't anything to actually um, use, uh, taking up a hand. Where's the Rip Flair tactics, bro? Where's the dirty tactics? Thumb to the eye, low blow. You know what I'm saying? Throw dust in the eye, something, yo. Where's, where's the underhanded tactics, bro? This Kylo Ren is too clean, bro. He's too clean. He's a, he's a good guy, bro. Posing as a baddie. He's like he's a fake. He's a fraud, yo. That's what he is. He's a phony. He's a fake. He's a fraud. He's a phony. That's what basically what Kylo Ren is. He's a damn phony, bro. He ain't no he ain't no villain. Oh my gosh. 
but yeah, I'm going too far. Um, this movie, um, this franchise right now, the franchise is done. I'm happy that it's finished. And something else to take the helm now and take off. Kathleen Kennedy needs to go. <sighs> JJ Abrams should stay away from big blockbuster, big blockbuster movies. I'm a JJ Abrams fan because I like his smaller budget stuff. Because once he takes big, big blockbusters, yeah, he doesn't know how to handle them at all. He's a small budget guy. That's what J.J. Abrams is good at. It's take keeping that budget small. Anything like Star Wars, Star Trek, it's a fail. It's an L. It's gonna take. He's gonna. Take, he takes massive L's, bro. Just like he tries to do that. That was it. That Super Eight, bro. It's L. L. His track record with big blocks just is not. Is not great. Um, even though he tries to be a Spielberg, he's, he's far. From, he's far from it. Far from Spielberg, Spielberg level. Far from it. He's an indie type guy. That's what he is. That's what his bread and butter is, yo. Stay away from big budget movies, yo. It's not your thing. Stay in your lane, man. Hey, JJ, I'm a fan. Stay in your lane, bro. That's it. That's what I say. Um, I'm not getting that money, but <sighs> the killer of blockbusters. That's basically your name right at this point. Your the killer of blockbusters. JJ, you don't want that on your resume, bro. People remember you for that killer of blockbusters. The killer of franchises. The franchise killer. That's what JJ Ross is getting with the a rep for now. It's it's not good. Um. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what you guys think in the comment section down below, man. I want to know what you guys think because uh, am I crazy? Oh, I'm no actually no. I even asked that. I know I ain't crazy. This this franchise is trash. This franchise is in the dirt right now. It's, it's, it's six foot deep at this point. Uh, only only class the original and the prequels. This doesn't exist to me. This is an alternate universe. This is like a, some MCU. In DC, some alternate universe, some new fifty two business, yo. This has been, this is some um, next level alternate universe crap, man. So this, this, this is this is not canon to me. This, this, this um, latest three, Awakens, Last Jedi, Return of the Skywalker. This is this is, I should say, Rise of the Skywalker. Um, this ain't canon to me. This is not my canon, so I ain't gonna take it as such. You can if you want, if you like to. Hey, hey, Phil. Oh, good luck to you, but. This is not my canon. This ain't canon to me, no. This, I'm going to take this to the else world. And, yeah. So, I am done. Whether you are day or night, stay safe out here in these streets. Remember to thumb the video up, share the video, subscribe. And that's if I want to signing out. Peace. May the force with you. Always.